Jackie Brown is a 1997 crime thriller directed by Quentin Tarantino. You gotta listen to this, man, because this concerns you, all right? I originally watched this film when it came out back in 1997. I didn't really think much of it at the time, but I rewatched it a couple of days ago, and time has aged well with this film. If you have a chance to walk over a half million dollars, would you take it? Yeah. Originally I thought that the film was set in the 70s, but it's actually set in the 90s and there's just a 70s flair and a 70s style and vibe that plays throughout the film. And now that time has passed from the 90s, I'm actually nostalgic for the time period that the film's set in. It's kind of a weird thing that really is going on in the film. It's got a fantastic cast. Pam Greer, Bridget Fonda, Robert Forster, Robert De Niro, Michael Keaton, Samuel Jackson. Jackie Brown is about Jackie Brown, played by Pam Greer. She gets busted for smuggling money and drugs across international borders. She makes a deal with the FBI, and in exchange for her freedom, she agrees to participate in a sting operation. I really enjoy the relationship between Forster and Pam Greer, who plays Jackie Brown. They have quite a dynamic relationship that carries on throughout the film, and they're both quite charismatic together. Robert De Niro doesn't really do a lot in the film. Basically smokes a bit of weed, has sex with Bridget Fonda that lasts for 30 seconds. That was fun. Yeah, I don't really have to spy. And escorts her to the main crime in the film. Samuel Jackson is great. He plays this charismatic gangster type and he's quite comedic and funny to it at the start of the film, but as the film rolls along, you actually start to see his dark side and it really comes out and he really fleshes that out as a character. Bridget Fonda was great as the surfer girl. Um, she was quite naive though, she really didn't know what she was getting herself into. I want to be over there. You just stay right here. Because you're a little bit too you're conspicuous. Okay, the film is quite hard hitting and there are some shocking moments throughout the film. Pam Grier is fantastic as Jackie Brown. She used to be a big star in the black exploitation films of the 70s. Uh, but I just really love the approach that she takes to it. One that really stands out. There's not really much to Michael Keaton's role. He's the good cop that kind of trusts Jackie Brown. Uh, but, you know, he's kind of suspicious of her at the same time. I wish there would have been a little bit more to the role, but what do you do? What do you give that kind of a role? The cop's always a boring role, isn't it? During the middle of the film, it lags a bit. There's a whole sequence that plays out with Robert De Niro and Bridget Fonda. Them just smoking weed, having sex. It's just, it went on for way too long. They could have cut that a lot. I don't understand why it was building their relationship so much. It was kind of a subplot that wasn't really going anywhere. It felt like it fell flat at that point. A loophole I did find in the film was during the, the main crime where Jackie Brown has to exchange the money. There were just no cops at all near the change rooms. I can understand they want to keep their distance while Jackie Brown is doing her thing. I at least would have had somebody in the change rooms acting as somebody or if you could get a camera. I know this is... I mean, this is the 90s. I'm sure they could have got a camera in there somewhere filming something. I know Michael Keaton and the other cop were waiting out in the mall, but seriously, get another cop stationed, or, you know, where the actual crime's going to be happening. It just didn't make sense. Anyway, it still worked. With Max Cherry, the Bail Bonds. It was quite an understated performance, you know, subtly done. And I think the way Forster played the character, it really brought a level-headed approach to the film because a lot of the other characters were quite zany. Who paid my bond? Riddell? In cash. I think it's one of Quentin Tarantino's better works, alongside Pulp Fiction and Reservoir Dogs. And speaking of those two, you can have a movie marathon with these three films, starting with Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction as the main feature, and then Jackie Brown as the midnight movie. It aligns perfectly with the Grindhouse theme, uh, so give it a go, you'll enjoy it. I really enjoyed Jackie Brown upon the second watch, like I said, so I'm gonna give it four and a half stars out of five. Leave a comment guys, let us know if you've seen Jackie Brown. Let me know if you agree with my rating. Uh, I wanna know if you, know, you guys actually think my ratings are on cue or whether they're way off. Thanks for watching. This is James signing off from the Home Video Channel.